Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we've got a little bit of a different retro pickup. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is a eBay purchase. Something, again, from probably my teenage years of um, collecting. I must have been 14 or 15 when I started collecting these. And um, I seen the complete collection come up on uh, eBay and I thought I just had to have it again. Um, something for me to be putting on while I'm out in the garage. There's no point in me trying to hide what it is. If you've probably seen the title for this video, you probably know already. So I'm going to unbox it, take a look inside, and I'll run through a couple of things that I remember of these videos. <gasps> Giving it away. Shit. <laughs> Okay, so as you've just seen, this is a anime collection that I had growing up. And if you've not seen Guyver before, you really need to watch the series. God. So it's a, a 12 part series of anime 30 to 29 minutes each um one of the best series i've watched in an anime and manga style cartoons um i remember buying these i think they came out monthly in the uk and i remember picking them up and going to virgin mega store in cardiff and buying them every month um so the first one you get to meet the characters you get to know about um how they turns into gaiva what it's all about things like that then obviously as the story progresses, um, it becomes bad guys and everything else and the story goes on. I actually can't remember how it ends and what it goes through. So I will be watching these series by series or episode by episode just to see the storyline again. Um, there were a couple of films made out of this. So Guy Bear had his own film, um, but there was another film called Mutronics. I think it was called Mutronics, a very similar name if not. Um, and that had a very similar style um, live action feel to it. So basically it's a bio armor that goes over the top and I think he stands there, says the word Guyver and up it comes. Um, a little bit like an Iron Man type suit, but a lot cooler if you ask me. So, data was set one. It was there. G good condition, really nice condition. Day set two. Oh, well, actually, let's have a look. So, data set one. Let's have a look inside. Can't believe it. Even rewound the tape, which is great. Um, oh, look at that inside. Oh, God, I remember that. Inside your magazine, in your tape, you had a little booklet as well. So, and stickers. Oh, this is amazing. Um, so, <laughs> this is, sorry guys, this is a bit geeky for me. So, everyone loves a sticker. So, we've got some stickers in there. And we've got a manga catalogue, uh, mini catalogue of the different films that were out at the time. So, I'm going to go through this as well. Let's have a quick flick through. Akira. Who doesn't remember Akira? brilliant film if you haven't seen it you need to watch it that's probably the one manga film that you have to watch again i've not watched it in years so it might not be as good as i remember um dominion tank police i remember watching that as a kid probably not appropriate for a, a kid that i was at about 14 years old watching that busty bikini cats a bit weird um what else have we got in here that i had to remember uh three by three eyes i remember watching that um i can't remember the storyline on it but i remember it being quite an iconic set of films uh what else is in here and vampire hunter d i remember that as well so um a couple of other films i remember watching on manga type setups were um battle angel alita which was a, a brilliant film um that came out recently as a live action as well. And I think they pretty much stuck to the original manga version as well, which is pretty cool. And I remembered also watching a lot of the, 
the Street Fighter films and anime series on manga as well. Okay, so that's video number one. Can't believe that is in such great condition after all these years. It must be 1994, I reckon, that came out in the UK. Yeah, 94. Ah, perfect memory. So 94, that came out in the UK. That's got the instru instructions. It's got the brochure and the stickers in there. Let's hope that others have got something similar. So episode number two, or data number two, they've introduced a gold guyver into this one. So again, I can't remember what the details is, are on that, whether it's a competitor or anything else. Again, tapes rewound, great condition. Uh, the Manga Club in leaflet in this one. So it's not the, the full brochure. This one's just to sign up to be in part of the Manga Club. And you've got a little token down the bottom corner that you can cut out and send off. I don't think I was ever part of the club, but that's pretty cool to have that in there as well. Data number three. Now this is in a slightly different VHS case, so it's not as original as the other two so far. But again, we've got the brochure in there. Um then yeah that's fine videos rewound that's all but yeah it's slightly different vhs case for that one so i might see if i got any other vhs cases that have a similar feel to the other two that i've used and picked up so far you could tell because the the spine's out of alignment on it as well god this lights a pain in the ass okay so episode number four again this one is in the same type of hmv style case as that episode number three so i don't think it was they're the right cases for it so i'm gonna have to see if i can f swap them out i mean getting worse not rewound so i'm gonna have to rewind that one before i watch it not much it's near 30 minute video so a in, um i keep calling them, call them instruction manuals i'm so used to doing games it's um your brochure is in there as well so that's episode number four data set number four then all the rest of them seem to be back into the normal cases then. Um, so data set number five. Remember this bad guy in there. Let's have a look inside. Again, manuals in there. I'm going to keep calling the manual, so tough. You have to stick up with it. It's rewound. Nothing else in that case. It's quite cool because inside of these cases, I'm not showing them on screen, but they've all got like a bit of a comic inside of them. That's pretty nice. I've not been through and looked at them. I probably did as a kid. I probably spent... Because they only came out once a month, like a, a magazine, I probably spent hours. I probably watched the video about two or three times and then um, probably read every single thing I could that came with it. Um, episode or data set number six, we're back into normal cases again. But they were all bought in HMV, whereas I remember buying them in Virgin Megastore, so this isn't my original collection, definitely. Um, it's rewound, and we've got our we got our booklet. Cool. Let's take a look. Sorry, I'm going to rush through these. Number seven, rewound, and booklet again. Cool. So that one's pretty good. Let's have a look at that one. Look at that cool dude. I can't wait to watch these again. I can't remember that any of the character names or anything, but I remember buying them month by month for a year, obviously. Or it might have even been longer. I think they had a bit of a gap in the middle. Um, number eight, we're back to a battle with the the gold guyver in there as well. Um, and again, rewound, which is great. And we got our brochure. So this is pretty cool. I can't even remember them having brochures when I bought them originally. Um, Number nine, what have we got on the front of that guy ever beating some kind of fly type creature? Again, another program, brochure, instruction manual, whatever you want to call it, and a tape rewind. Cool. Guys, I'm loving this. I know this is probably not the most of interest in the videos of mine, but this is proper geeky for me. Number 10, now look at that. That is. The iconic look of Guyver for me. Um, walking out of the fire. Let's have a look inside. So again, rewound. 
and a manual. Awesome. Amazing. Last two cases are slightly different on this on these last two. Again, I don't know whether they changed them throughout the set, but this guy now seems like a an upgraded type of guyver. Again, rewind the tape, which is cool. And we got our insert. So I think they've all had inserts so far. Only the first one had the, the stickers in them though. Which I'm still chuffed that they've got. Um, and the final episode, for some reason, has got Guyver battling off a baddie, but then there's some um, half naked woman in the background. I don't know why. Well, I do know why it's manga, it's anime, and that's the kind of thing they go for. Um, inside, we've got another booklet and our tape all rewound. So cool. I think there's only one tape that wasn't rewound, so it shows that they've been watched. Um, everything looks in really good condition. There's only one with a slight scuff on the spine. The rest of them are all in pretty decent cases. What I might do is have a look through my VHS collection, see if I've got cases which match all of them, so they're all a nice, neat collection together. Um, they will be going on the shelf, but I'm also going to be watching these episode by episode over the forthcoming week. So, yeah, cool. Thank you for watching. If you've got any suggestions around any anime series to watch, ideally around that 90s series, so... Akira, Gaiva, Ghost in a Shell, um, what was it, Apple Seed, uh, those types of things. Drop them in the comments below because I'm going to start having a look at VHS versions of some of these films over the next couple of weeks. Cool. Cheers, guys. Catch you soon.